reported extensively on the Affordable Care Act. Amara, let's begin with you. The disparate um, effect of this government crackdown, of the government shutdown. Um, it's pretty far and wide. Um, whether we're talking about education or nutrition programs or housing programs um, or the processing of immigration uh, visas and um, citizenship, it's a pretty wide shutdown. And one of the most interesting things is that the way that this is often covered um, is frustrating because it makes it appear as if it's a Washington game. But for most Americans, this is about as real as it gets. And the longer it goes on, it's going to become even more so, and particularly as we begin to push up against um, the debt limit. And so this is serious, it's painful, it comes on top of the dramatic cuts of sequestration, and it's going to be too much for many people to bear. I just heard, um, spoke to someone last night who said that she personally knew, she works with, um, in the New York City public schools and works with poor children, and had heard yesterday of mothers with young children, <clears throat> excuse me, who had gone to WIC sites and WIC programs in New York that were out of food, um, and that's on day two of sequestration. And, of course, on the first day, 19,000 kids were kicked out of Head Start. And so this is dramatic. It's painful. It's real. It's not a game. So talk more specifically about who this affects. Mm -hmm. So what's interesting is that during the past 10 years, well, actually since the Clinton administration, the way that most government programs have been turned is to help and to encourage work amongst the working poor. And so that's why most people who are poor in this country work and have children. Um, and mo many of the government programs that are discretionary, under discretionary spending, are designed to help that group. And so that is and the nutrition program of WIC that I spoke about, Head Start, which is what um, poor parents um, and work, particularly working poor parents use to help give their kids an equal footing with everyone else, that is um, on, on the back foot. In terms of housing, there are three million people in this country um, that get their housing through housing support who work uh, but don't earn enough to live, who get housing support through discretionary programs, um, and Pell Grants, uh, which help, which is a means-tested grant by the federal government that helps um, students from uh, backgrounds that may not necessarily be wealthy have a chance to go to school, and on and on and on. Those are all, those are all of the types of things that are up and on the block right now, and it's frightening. A lot of people um, are in a tough spot.